my craft as a storyteller, be it through speaking, writing, or even through dancing, has invited me to deep, rich, raw, exquisite levels of honesty. And I don't just mean in the form of telling the truth. I mean truly honoring a story and the people, places, things, feelings, thoughts, everything and everyone involved in the unfolding of a story. So the craft of making zines, which are do-it-yourself, self-published books for the people, by the people, that craft has changed me because it really introduced me into an underground world, an underground culture of self-published art. Oftentimes, art and the art world can seem really inaccessible to folks, especially Black, Indigenous, people of color, women, queer folks. The zine community is almost as if it's made for us because it's made by us. Being able to listen musically is probably the most important skill because music is completely aural, it's completely through your ears. And after it comes through your ears, then it affects your spirit or your heart or your brain or the different um, aspects of you that connect to what you're doing. But it all has to come through your ears, listening for what really is happening. And it, that translates into you know the rest of your life. Um, how has musical improvisation changed me? Uh, it's made me more uh, spontaneous, collaborative. I think it's made me a better listener. And um, because musical improvisation is such a challenge mentally and physically, it's allowed me to face fear again and again, which I think is always a valuable thing. <laughs> My daily practice of meditation and going inward, slowing down and reflecting, really contributes to the way in which I continue to enrich myself as a storyteller by allowing me to access the crevices of my mind, my heart, my spirit, um, in ways that are not always accessible when you're in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the world. Gardening, mothering, keeping a home, all of that gives me discipline and drive. It allows me to be creative in my space, which will then inspire my art and the work that I do. The practice of of doing the different types of things that come across a music produ producer's desk um, are they're, they're various, and, and you have to you have to have a robust skill set to be able to adapt very easily and to you know to be able to help someone that's at one part of the process versus in the middle versus someone that's doing all of it versus someone that just needs one particular thing you know sometimes i'm doing an entire project and sometimes i'm just doing vocal production um because improvisation is so collaborative um i've had to do things that are a little bit more solo so just staying engaged in the world staying engaged in current events keeping an enriched um, imaginative life by reading a lot um, have all helped but also writing both um, comedy and music has really helped